If you'd rather run a 10K than chat two hours at a holiday party, you're not alone. In fact, dread of what many refer to as schmoozing shows no bounds. It can make CEOs as well as systems analysts sweat. But small talk is no small matter when it comes to getting ahead or even getting even. And by getting even, I don't mean revenge. Although many people consider chit chat an interruption to their day, or a bigger downside, a drain to productivity. But here are some vital roles small talk serves. One, small talk builds rapport. It gives people a sense of who you are personally. The topic rarely matters. The act of talking itself takes center stage. Do you have a sense of humor? Do you gossip? Do you typically talk about current events? Or are you constantly talking about work? Do you always focus on yourself, or do you show interest in other people? Do you tend to lecture people, or do you like to ask questions and let other people have the floor, have center stage? Rapport makes it easier later if you need to ask a favor, or ask for a referral, or ask for support on an idea when you need support. Small talk conveys caring, asking about someone's health, Remembering to ask about a pending job offer. Referring to someone's hobby. Genuine interests like that, about any of those, shows personal concern. Show me a person who doesn't warm up under the spotlight of genuine concern. And I'll show you an oddball. Small talk often surfaces commonalities. Small talk helps you identify similar experiences, skills, values, likes, dislikes, those stepping stones become the reasons for and the path to more interactions. Maybe you can refer clients, suppliers, or potential employees to each other. Would it make sense to work together on a project? Small talk also opens the door to new relationships. All re relationships are the sum total of conversations stacked end to end. Nowhere but on Facebook to, to actually Total strangers send you a message like this. Hey, can we be friends? You look like a wonderful person of strong character. I think I'm in love with you. I want a deep, caring relationship. On Facebook, yes, but in real life, relationships at work or in your community start with just simple conversations, and then they grow from there. Small talk churns up new data and new ideas. The World War II motto, loose lips sink ships, reminded American soldiers to watch their unguarded tongues. I'm always intrigued by how much just random information, but granted useful information, surfaces in water cooler conversations. As Donald Rumsfeld once famously remarked, there are known knowns. These are the things we know that we know. There are known unknowns. That's to say there are things that we know we don't know. But there are also unknown unknowns. These are the things we don't know we don't know. Small talk splashes up some of those unknown unknowns. And those are important because they can guide you in your career. Small talk recalibrates your perceptions on occasion. It's always good to hear others' perceptions on topics of the day. It can either be startling or maybe motivating to hear other people's perception on issues where you thought you held majority view. So this year at your upcoming holiday parties, don't sweat the small talk. Instead, maximize the advantages.